Don't worry. Big Daddy will help you. Big Daddy's heading into town to find some more slaves. This video is about recruiting the slave care guide. We will find a villager, recruit them into the village, and then we will set them up so they can do the work for us. We will go over their needs, housing, food, water, and firewood. This looks like a little refugee camp, but no one's here, so we'll have to go to the next one. Big Daddy just found where the homeless people live. This is where they sleep. Such a sad life. Don't worry. Big Daddy's here to provide you a house. But only one of you. We'll work for food. And water. And some firewood. And a roof over my head, of course. It sounds like they'll work for food, water, and firewood. As well as a roof over their head. That sounds good. Because Big Daddy hasn't made a house just yet. Sorry. But he'll get there. Don't worry. You'll have what you need. When recruiting a villager, if you hold down Alt, you'll be able to see their skills. It looks like this chick on the right has none. Oh wait, there it is. But all her skills are very low, so we're gonna ignore her. Hazimir seems like he's a good fella. Let's go talk to him. It sounds like he likes farming. Some villagers like particular jobs. But we don't care what he likes. We just want him to join our village. If you talk to the people, if you click on the third line, I'm creating a new settlement and I'm looking for good people willing to join me. This is a lie, but we say that just to get them to come. They don't know it, but they're going to be our slaves. Now you can see that Casimir has joined. If you press N, you'll be taken to your management screen. If you look at the top right portion of the screen, you'll see that you have Dynasty Reputation. For every 100 points of Dynasty Reputation you have, you're allowed to have one villager. Because we have 200 Dynasty Reputation points, we can have two villagers max. This population here includes Big Daddy. So if we don't include him, we've got two villagers. This means we cannot have any more. Big Daddy's greedy for more people to join his village. Let's see if we can add some more. If you try and employ more people and recruit them to your village and you don't have enough Travelers dynasty, they will tell you to, to go away. Like Down the bottom here, it even says requirement 300. We only have 200. Sadly, she won't be joining us, but that's okay. We will steal her later. To make sure your villagers make it to your town safely, you should stalk them. Hide behind those bushes and all those saplings. They won't know you're there. Because Big Diddy's so good at sneaking around. If you press N, you'll be taken to the management screen. Here, we can see Casimir has no house, food, water or firewood. But Miro, she's a happy lady. 6% happiness. We're doing so well as the master of these slaves in this village. At least, Big Daddy doesn't have to be a lumberjack anymore. Because Casimir is in a negative mood, if we leave him too long with no house, food, water or firewood, he will leave. So let's fix that. At the moment, we do not have a house built for him. All of these three that we have placed have not been built. At the moment, we've only got two houses. One is Big Daddy's and the other is Miro's. We need to build this new fella a house. This is where Casimir is going to live, on the outskirts of town, away from everyone else. This is the slaving district. This is where Razimir is going to live. If you press N on your keyboard, you'll be taken to your management. 
we have a small house that has no one in it. You can either go into the small house and assign a single person, or you can go over to the people tab and click on Razamir and assign his house this way. We better assign him a house because at the moment he's very angry, very sad, and he will leave. We don't want him to leave because then we'll have to chase him down and kill him. We've just provided Razamir a house. Now he does not have the housing icon. Now we just need to provide food, water, and firewood. You will notice that Razamir does not need firewood because we have already provided firewood in the resource storage. Any resources that are in the resource storage, the villages, and all your slaves will have access to it. In here, we can see firewood, planks, and sticks. The firewood has been made by our lovely Miro at the woodshed. Both our villagers will grab the firewood from the resource storage. However, because we don't have a food storage built yet, we have to provide food and water inside Razumir's personal chest. So I will show you how to provide food and water and place it in the personal chest just for Razumir. If you already have a workshop and a well, you can make your own buckets and fill them up with water. Because at the moment, we have no one working the well or the workshop. This makes Big Daddy sad. Once you've made your bucket, make your way over to your well. We only need to craft one. Now that we have a bucket of water, we can head over to Kasamir's house and we're going to put the water and the food in his personal chest. The only reason we're doing this is because Big Daddy has not made the food storage yet. What a lazy fella. Look at him. He looks so tired. He's got bags under his eyes. Because Casimir has no job, he's going to sweep his own house all day, every day. But don't worry. We'll get there. If you go into the chest, plant the bucket of water, and then put any food that you don't want in there because it tastes disgusting, but he'll eat it. Casimir likes to eat anything. Let's give him some cheese. Now that we've provided Casimir with food and water inside his personal chest, the only icon left at the top left is the mood icon. If we press N and go into the management page, we will see that Casimir has a negative mood of 38%. But this icon here, the green arrow pointing up, indicates that his mood will improve. That's because Big Daddy is a good master. He looks after his slaves. All that's left is to provide Casimir with a job. At the moment, he has no profession. Let's find him a job that he likes. If you click on his name, you can see that he has no workplace. Double click to assign a workplace. You can see his level for all the workplaces available. The woodshed already has one person of one. That means he cannot be a lumberjack. The well has no one working there and neither does the workshop. But if we look at his skills, you can see he has a higher skill level if we were to put him as a water carrier. So he's going to be a water boy. Just the dream job he'd been dreaming of. Double click on the well and then double click on assign worker. This will take you to Casimir's page. His profession is water boy. His extraction level is two and he lives in a small house that we just made out of our bare hands because Big Daddy loves building. And that is how you take care of your slaves. All you have to do is provide a house, food, water and firewood. But let's be honest, once you have a couple of slaves going, they take care of themselves and you don't have to do anything. Isn't that right Big Daddy? <laughs>